So this is part seven why you shouldn't let anybody put a timeline on your life, what you should have, and what you should be doing at this current point in your life. This one is for the ladies. Y'all read this article. It says, few public figures are more prolific than Martha Stewart. In addition to writing more than two dozen books and headlining the Martha Stewart show, which came to an end in 2012, she also published a magazine, Martha Stewart Living, and stars on a hit VH1 show, Martha and Snoop's Pop Luck Dinner Party. Or she even hosted a season of The Apprentice and played a role in an episode of Law & Order Special Victims Unit as is required of all famous people. All this didn't come until she passed 40. Her big break, a 1982 book entertaining, didn't hit the shelves until she turned 41 years old. I try to tell a lot of people, men and women, things take time. We might have made some decisions early in our life. A lot of women have kids before they're financially ready or they have kids with the wrong guy and they have to figure it out on their own. Uh, a lot of people don't have good enough careers or don't go to college and get the right education so they can come out to a field and get a high earning uh, really career instead of getting a job. But a lot of these things play a factor. So don't feel bad if you're not financially where you need to be or you don't own a house or your cars ain't paid off or you know you never seen a hundred thousand dollars or you never saved ten thousand dollars just know it can happen for you it's just some areas in your life you might need to change you might need to change some friends you might need to get out of your comfort zone you might need to move to another city and start fresh all these things can ignite your future this is what people do they get with the right crowd they put their heads together and boom, they become famous or boom, they have their breakout season. Listen, I was in the same boat years ago. I figured out how to get my finances together. I figured out how to build my credit. I figured out how to leverage opportunities of working with other people around me to make money. And I currently make money on social media. So listen, if you have any questions, comment down below help. If you want to check out my stand store, all the information is in there on my ebooks, the, the software I use to make videos, and how I learned from A to Z making money on social media. So y'all check that out, but it's tons of information out here. I'm not trying to sell you guys. I just want everybody to understand. I used to be a scrub. I used to be dead broke, hoping for opportunity hoping that something lucky would happen to me, not understanding that luck comes to those people who are out there getting it, not the people that's wishing and hoping and laying down and praying that things will get better. It's the people out there cultivating, striving to become better. That's when you become lucky. So this is my video. I hope y'all enjoy it. This is your guy, CEO Samuel, and we 